Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Facebook Friday. It's been so long. I think it's been a month since I have been live. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. I have um, a new studio, as you can see. I have things planned for these walls, but they're not there yet. Um, let me make sure I'm in the right place. Okay, good. Um, new internet, you guys. Hasn't been real strong. I have a modem sitting right here, plugged into the wall. Let's see if that works. Let me know that you're here so that I can uh, make sure this is working. Let's see, okay. Hello, oh, hello, Patricia, Elizabeth, Deborah. okay, good. Because I wasn't seeing anything on my phone. Well, welcome back. Hello, it's good to see you guys. Um, just a, I don't know, a, a little asterisk to today's Facebook Live. I have all new everything, including internet and lights. So things may fall, I don't know. Things may be glitchy, who knows? We'll see, this is the first, I'm like nervous like it's the first time I've ever done Facebook Live. It just feels so weird being in a different place. Um. Let's see what I was gonna tell you. I know that you guys are gonna ask me for a tour. Like I wanna address that right away. <laughs> I am going to give you guys a tour when it's ready. Um, right now I still have like boxes under here um, and I have, you know, like things, I, ha I have things planned for the walls. My cabinets are still a little weird and we won't even mention the closet. But I promise you guys, within the next couple months, once I'm settled, we will do a full studio tour, okay? A craft room tour, because I know that you guys are going to see that. I would want to see it too. Um, what else was I gonna say at the beginning? I can't remember. I don't know. Hopefully, is, does the video feel strong, you guys? Does it feel like the signal is okay? Like it's, that's, that's the thing I was the most worried about, because in here, we're further out. We're not rural, but we're, further out you know what i'm saying like kind of on the outskirts and so i don't get cell service in this this part of the of our house i have like one bar when i'm here so i was really worried about that um and when the internet guy came um he had this much interest in helping me make sure that our our um signal was strong and the modem to our internet is in the house which is in a separate building obviously i'm, I'm separated and so i couldn't get service out here or couldn't get internet out here either so i had to go to best buy and talk to the guys and they helped me get the right thing and i think i think we're okay so you guys it looks okay hi joy thank you okay good okay then we're just gonna proceed. The other thing is, you know, the thing that you guys commented a lot about my studio when I shared pictures was the light. The light in here is beautiful and the light was really important to me. So I had these giant windows put in. But yesterday when I filmed my first videos, I found that it was very dark. I have lights from my old studio and they made really no difference. Um, so it was weird. I, it's something about the window, natural light, whatever. Um, We'll see when I turn the camera. I think it'll be okay. I was able to lighten the ones that I recorded yesterday, um, but I won't be able to do that to this video. Um, but I have ordered some new additional lights. So we'll see, we'll, we'll see. Okay, so what have we missed a lot? We've missed a lot. Um, if you've never joined me for Facebook Live before, hopefully this isn't your first one. <laughs> because <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. Um, I'm focusing on Little Dreamers. This is my favorite kind of stamp set, you guys know. Um, the line image where we can color color them with stamp and blends. So we'll use stamp and blends on two of the projects and watercolor resist on the third. Um, so we'll get to that in a minute. I wanna run through some things. I haven't talked to you about the new All-Star Tutorial Bundle. So we do this, me and 11 other global demonstrators, we have been doing this, gosh, I mean, maybe four or five years now. We were the originals. I will just say that we were the originals um, who came up with this idea. Um, we pick a suite from the catalog and then each of us design a project and film a tutorial. And then we combine them in this PDF with measurements in both metric and imperial um, and then with links to the videos. And then um, 
each month we have a new one. So I give this away uh, when you spend over $50 with me um, shopping at stampinup.com. I, I email these out. I try to do it about once a week. Um, the other way to get this, you can buy it in my PDF store. It's there for $15. Um, and then the third way you can get it is to subscribe. And the subscription for this is only open twice a year, and it's um, July and January. And so obviously it's July. So if you are a demonstrator yourself or you are you have your own demonstrator already, I mean, you're not gonna shop with me and earn it for free, but you want it, the subscription is a great option because um, it's $15 a month and then the sixth month is free. So you have two ways to do that. You can subscribe and be, um, your PayPal account is charged $15 for the first five months, each five, and then the sixth month you're not charged. Or you can pay the whole lump sum up up front. Um, those two options are there on my blog post. Um, if you haven't seen it, please go check it out. This month's is Earthen Elegance. Um, this is a really cool suite. I watched a video um, that Stampin' Up! did talking about how they um, created these products. They're based on pottery. And the paper, the designer series paper, are actually pieces of clay that she designed and then they photographed, so it's really cool. But you can see the tutorial, we have um, large photos for you and then links for videos for each project. And then I always show you guys my project. Mine is a large gift box this month, it's pretty big. Um, it would hold a pretty nice size gift. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um, but anyway, it is also interesting. Um, each video is very different. Everybody kind of just approach this very differently. So. Um, if you're interested in this PDF, uh, there will be, I'll update this video with a link when I'm done. Also, if you go to pinkbuckaroo.com, there is a link at the bottom of today's blog post. And if, if you just go to the first page, you'll see it there and one of the first things that you can click. Okay, so that is that. I have more room now to spread out my things. I love it. Um, Club Create. All right, as you guys can see, I am busy prepping this month's Club Create. This month's Club Create was gone fishing and I am done cutting, I'm now packing. So Club Create members, watch for my email next week. They will ship next week. And by the way, I think I told you guys I was worried about the mail situation out here too because I was told that the mail guy out here wouldn't come pick mail up from my house. And if you know anything about me, you know that I mail a ton of packages. Um, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of packages every month. And my mail lady at my old house was a saint. She was amazing. Um, but out here they have a contractor and they said that if my house was more than half a mile from the mailbox, that he would not come to my house. Um, so they were gonna talk to him, see if he'd be willing to do it, whatever. Well, I scheduled a pickup this week and he came and picked it up. So I'm hoping that's not a fluke and that he's gonna keep doing that because that's gonna be, it's gonna be, Hard if I don't have pickup at my house because of all the mail that I do. But anyway, so that was a side story, sorry. Um, Club Create is what I'm talking about and that's the big chunk of my mailing, Club Create. And so Club Create July is closed. It's shipping this uh, next week. It's the Gone Fishing um, suite. If you're interested in that, there's the PDF and video version in my PDF store. So for August, I use the really cute Let's Go Shopping bundle. This is such a fun suite. Um, the paper is super fun. Um, this month's projects, or August, it's August's projects, will include a little bag, but also four cards. Um, hopefully they're not messed up from the move. Um, in Club Create Kits, you get the supplies to make five projects. Um, here, let's see, I've got two of each of them. Let me pull them out. Um, you get supplies to make five projects. You also get about $20 in products. So you'll get a pack of paper and a bolt of ribbon along with your five projects, plus the PDF, plus um, the video and shipping for $39 a month. And then it's a subscription. You can cancel anytime. Um, but if you stay for six months, on that sixth month, I give you a $25 product credit to spend on whatever you want. Uh, so, if you're interested in August, August's, August's, that's a that's a hard one to say. If you're interested in August's Club Create, 
There is a Club Crate tab at the top of my blog that you can click on and subscribe. Um, there is also a PDF only version that includes the video as well. It's so weird. So I'm looking at my phone here and I don't see any comments. Um, I can see like when people join, but down here on my iPad, it's all the comments and it's staying open, which is awesome. Oh, no, it's not. I lied. <laughs> I lied. But anyway, um, sorry, I miss all your comments. Hello to all of you. I'm so glad you're here. Um, it's kind of echoey in here. I don't know if you guys can hear it on your end, but that was the first thing I noticed when I started uh, filming videos yesterday. Um, so I'm hoping as I get more things in here, it'll be less echoey. I've got some rugs, which I thought would help, but I don't know. Lots of things to tweak. Anyway, Club Create um, for August. Deadline is August 7th. Um, Club Create kits ship around the 21st of each month. I'm always trying to mail them early. Um, so a lot of times it will, they will ship a little bit early, but my deadline for myself to get them in the mail is the 21st. Okay, so there is that. I'm gonna flip you guys over because I wanna show you some things. I got a new kit. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if I can do this, you guys. This is gonna be interesting, so hang with me. Hang with me. I've got this new thing that can pull down and hopefully we can get closer than we could in the last one. I don't know, it's very strange, this whole setup. I feel very like a fish out of water. It feels so strange. Okay, so let's see. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. It's still kind of dark though, I don't know. I'm gonna really work on the lighting because I can't stand dark which is so strange because I thought it was gonna be so bright with this window here. I didn't really think I'd even need that much lighting. Okay, anyway, um, I wanna show you this new kit. This kit, if you look online, the pictures of it are gorgeous. I don't think this does it justice. I'm not typically a kit person, but I had to get this one because I love the colors. Look how bright and vivid and vibrant these pieces are. Um, if you're traveling this summer, if you're going camping, this would be a great kit to take with you. It doesn't include any stamps. It's, you just put it all together, um, which is really fun. It's also good for kids um, and uh, for people who maybe you have friends or relatives who are traveling with you who aren't stampers, this would be a fun thing to do together. Um, but I wanted to show you this, look at the envelopes. Um, they're slimline cards, so you've got two sizes. You've got this one. I believe this is, um, you know, it's so funny. My brain has been turned off for a month and now I cannot recall any names of anything. What's this color? Um, it's right on the tip of my tongue. It's one of our own colors. Somebody will say it. Um, and then this one too. What is this color? Why can't I remember it? Somebody will tell me. Anyway, this kit is only $13. So I wrote down the number. We have a kit section. In, I wrote down the number, here it is. We have a kit section on the website. Orchid Oasis, thank you. What's the other one that goes with Orchid Oasis? Orchid Oasis and, I mean, wow, it's kind of scary that I literally cannot remember. Anyway, it's called the Blossom Wishes Kit. Here's the number, 162431, and it's $13 if you guys are interested. Look, you guys could recall, Starry Sky, Donna, that's the one I was thinking, Starry Sky. Okay, my brain, I, ooh, it's funny how quickly we lose that information, isn't it? Um, Paper Pumpkin for August is really pretty. Um, it's flowers, and uh, it's gonna um, include, what did I read? It said it's gonna, each card's gonna include a little inscription of what the flowers mean, which I thought was neat, and this kit's gonna have an extra stamp set in it which we all love, right? An extra stamp set. Um, so if you are interested in subscribing to this paper pumpkin, the deadline for that is August 10th. I'll update the link here for you um, when I'm done with the video. Uh, bonus days. So from July 6th to, through the end of the month, for every $50 you spend, you earn a $5 coupon. Um, I'm frozen over here. I hope I'm not frozen. Let's see. Uh-oh. Oh no, what's happening? Let's see if it'll, if it'll start. <laughs> well, I'm gonna give it a few minutes and let's see if it'll catch up. I don't know, you guys. Is it not frozen on your end, Donna? Who's, tell me if it's frozen. See, weird, okay. It's totally frozen for me not it's frozen someone says it's echoing repeating 
Let's see. Okay, let me close out. That's what I always tell you guys, right? Close out and open it up. Okay, that's weird. It's totally frozen. So I'll just keep going until you guys tell me that I'm frozen. Um, $5. You're going to earn a $5 coupon for every $50 you spend, and they are stackable. So in August, you'll get an email after you put in an order from Stampin' Up! with your code. So just save it, flag it in your inbox. And then in August, you just copy and paste those codes over into your orders. If you have three of them, that'll be $15 off. If you have five of them, that'll be $25 off. Um, so you know some stores don't stack their coupons. Well, Stampin' Up! does, which I really appreciate. So however many $5 coupons you have, um, you can stack them on your orders in August, okay? And if you don't, if you some, for some reason don't get that email from Stamping Up, let me know or call them or email them or something and they will resend it. Check your spam folder first. I find a lot of things in my spam folder. Um, okay, I wanna show you guys online exclusives. Look, see, this is what I'm seeing, you guys. It's just totally frozen. Maybe if I completely close out of Facebook. Okay, let's go to um, the Stampin' Up! store. I wanna talk about the online exclusives real quick. Um, let's see, Stampin' Up! Nope, that's not the one I wanted, this one. Um, so, online exclusives released last week, right? Last week, on the 6th. And it was complete craziness. Um, the one that everybody wants is called Trucking Along. It has a matching punch. Well, weirdly enough, the punch didn't sell out, but the stamp set did. Luckily, we make stamp sets in-house, so they are quickly making more. And I wrote it down. It's expected to be back in stock the week of July 17th. So that's Monday. So starting Monday, I would start looking to see if it's back in stock. Um, I'm hoping to use this for next week's Facebook Friday. As long as it's in stock, we'll use it next for next week. Um, the other thing that sold out was this So Very Merry, and they weren't planning on um, replenishing this one because they said in early surveys that they didn't think it was gonna sell like it did. Um, but because it sold out so fast, they are making some more of this one, which is really cool. I can't wait to color this on vellum. Um, and this one will be back in stock, it says the week of July 31st. So this one next week, this one July 31st. Um, if you're at the, at the Stampin' Up! website and you're like, where are the online exclusives? You can just click on that picture here and there's that kit. You know, this is like a scrolling banner right here. And you, it's a quick way to find the things that are, um, you know, happening right now. You can also click those three lines and if you click shop products down here, there's a thing that says online exclusives. And um, there's some ribbon, there are scoring blades, there's that adorable little punch. Um, that kit is new. This kit I think was out of stock and now it's back in stock. This is new. Um, I, I can't remember if I showed you guys these before. Um, on my last Facebook, Facebook Friday, but I made two cards with the horse and sleigh stamp set, and I'll post them on my blog next week. Um, if you like blends, this one is really fun. That paper is super cool. Um, I've had some of you ask me about paper to go along with the trucking along, and I have no idea. I haven't seen the um, holiday catalog, so I don't know if there's gonna be paper or not. That would be cool though. Um, there's also the Timeless Charms bundle, that's new. The Adhesive Back Snowflakes assortments are new. Um, I think that's it. So check out those online exclusives. Um, we say, you know, while supplies last, um, sometimes that means they are gone when they're gone, and sometimes that means they will bring them back um, when they replenish their stock. So unfortunately, we don't really know which is which, I'm trying to pull my video back up. Okay, good, I'm not frozen anymore. Um, so um, they'll come back. So don't, don't panic um, right now, especially with this one. I think this one's gonna be a long, around for a long time. Okay, is that it? I'm at the bottom of the stack, I am. Okay, you guys, we made it to all the announcements and now I think we are ready to stamp. Let me see if I missed anything important. It felt very weird to not be able to see your comments. Um, well, it's not letting me go back. Um, so Catherine has an interesting, interesting question. Why are scoring blades an online exclusive? So they had told us their um, 
intention with online exclusives was to have things that were online only kind of to save room in the catalog. So um, I'm assuming that's what that is um, with the scoring blades. Just they finally have them. They're going to just put them online instead of taking up real estate in the catalog. That would be my guess. And I don't know how long they'll be around, but I would hope for a long time. Because if you need a scoring blade, you need a scoring blade, right? <laughs> for sure. Okay, so like I mentioned today, we are doing Little Dreamers. And do you guys have this set? It's so, so, so cute. It's, a, it's obviously a baby set, but it doesn't have to be a baby set. Um, it has some great dyes, obviously cuts out the images. We're going to use this star um, image also to make a background and you've got the clouds and the moon as well so it's a really really cute set um if you go to pinkbuckaroo.com hopefully um my blog post is up oh the dogs okay <laughs> the dogs have been um okay our backyard is huge and it has no grass so the amount of mud in my brand new house is atrocious um, we, you know, we started a pool, um, right away. So it's a mess and it's crazy. They are going on the back porch and instead of making it all the way out, using the bathroom on the porch, which makes my husband furious. <laughs> um, they're okay. They, um, they're adjusting. Um, they, I don't know, just other than like the, the yard, they've dug out a couple of times, which they never did at the old house. Um, they've got neighbor dogs now that they like to bark at that they can see because our fences are wire, but they're okay. They're all right. Um, I like not having the craziness in here. When I'm in here, it's quiet when I want it to be. It's very nice. Very nice. I don't know. Pepper cries when I leave though. Emma told me today she was she said Pepper was screaming her head off when you left. So she wants to come. And I have a bed in here and I bring them over here, but it's nice to have nice and quiet. Um okay. Um Patricia, you saw a little dreamer card with a raccoon. Did you? Hmm. What do we, we have a raccoon stamps somewhere, don't we? I can't think of it. All right, well, let's get started. So pinkbuckaroo.com, hopefully the blog post is up. Um, PDF, if you scroll down under the third picture, you'll find a free PDF for you. It has all the measurements and supply list as well as everything that I just talked about. And my dang video froze up again. This is very frustrating. Okay, well, I'm gonna ignore that, and I am gonna show you our first project. This is a fun fold card, if you will. You know, I sometimes I feel guilty calling something a fun fold because it's so easy. This one opens up like this, and then like that. Okay, so it's a card, um, but you could just, you know, if you use glue dots on a gift card, you can attach a gift card right there real easily. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Let's start, um, what do we wanna do first? Let's do our coloring first. Um, we're gonna stamp in Memento, and then we're gonna, of course, use our Stampin' Blends. I'm using Pumpkin Pie and Daffodil Delight and a little bit of Lemon Lolly, if you will. Now, you guys tell me what's up with you. What have I missed? I haven't talked to you guys in a month been a long time. Have you had a good summer? It's been hotter than the surface of the sun here, and I'm tired of it. We are going to be gone for a few days. A uh, week after next, we're going to Florida, where it's actually going to be cooler there than it is here, which um, I'm glad. And, and I know Florida is hot too, but we're going down to Key West, um, where it's ocean, you know, breeze and super nice so it'll be a nice um it'll be a nice change because literally uh, here you cannot i mean you can't do anything outside my poor ups man was here at 10 o'clock this morning and he was just literally pouring sweat i felt so bad for him he uh was running his tail off for me he he delivered um nine stampy nut boxes and let's see if I can bring that down. Nine Stampin' Up boxes and two TVs that we ordered from Prime Days. And I felt bad for him. He thought, oh great, these people, <laughs> these new people, they're gonna be ordering a ton of stuff. And we have, but you know, 
when you buy, when you move into a new house, you do that. It'll slow down. Oh, Cindy, you have a broken anchor? No. Can't you buy a new anchor? They're not very expensive, are they? You know what, I wanna start, we're gonna start with Daffodil Delight. We have had zero drops of rain, so our lake has continued to decline. I'm using light Daffodil Delight. Um, and so we've had absolutely no rain, which is sad. Our boat has been untouched now for a year, which makes me, well, no, no, we went on my birthday to a different lake, but it makes me very sad, very, very sad. Human in South Carolina too. Now I hear you guys in other places are having some wicked heat too, like Arizona. But isn't it a little bit different in Arizona? Isn't the heat just a little bit different or am I imagining that? Don't, don't you guys in Arizona have less humidity? Now I'm gonna take my dark Daffodil Delight and I'm gonna add some shadow there. Now, if you guys can't really see what I'm doing and you want to really get some, you know, instruction on coloring, I did pre-record these videos for YouTube. Um, and so when I do that, I'm able to zoom in and you guys can see a little bit better. So um, they should be linked on my blog today and they should be live on my YouTube channel. So if you want to go back and get a um, closer look at how I'm coloring these, that would be a good place to go. Now, my husband just pulled in and his giant loud truck, you guys probably heard him drive by the window and I put a sign on the door, he better not come in here. <laughs> I have warned everybody within an inch of their life. When I'm doing my Facebook Live and I have a sign on the door, you better not come in. He'll be the one that comes in. And my door is real loud too, cause it's like sticky, you know, still sticky from the paint and uh, it sounds like every time somebody comes in, it sounds like they're like ripping the door off the hinges. <laughs> like, leave me alone. He's been the worst. He comes in here more than the kids do. Um, okay, so let me see. Spain and Italy are baking. Highest temps ever, Fiona. Okay, well, I'd rather be in Spain and Italy baking than in Texas. <laughs> Honestly, California 112. That is ridiculous. Carrie, Vancouver has had zero rain. That's very unusual, isn't it? Usually you guys are pretty rainy, right? Okay, Elaine, it's brutal in Tampa. Oh, rain is scarce. Man, okay, well, I'll stop complaining because it's not just me. Heat wave in North Carol Calif Northern California. Uh, my AC was broken. Peggy, you know what? Come to my house. You cannot live without AC in those temps. That is terrible. All right, I'm taking light pumpkin pie right here, coloring in his belly. My oldest daughter... Um, is on her way to Colorado for a backpacking trip. You guys, okay, let me just tell you the bougie life my daughter is living. She is a college student and her freshman year, her dorm was allocated. They have these special little, they call them um, LLCs, living life, I don't know, something. They're a different theme. And hers was outdoors, like outdoor recreation. And so she's been backpacking with them and they've been rock climbing and doing all these things and she's she went um canoeing in the boundary waters um up in minnesota last summer well she is she just finished her sophomore year and she told me she called me all excited um i guess it was maybe late april that she had been asked to guide to help guide freshmen for two weeks in Colorado. And I was like, okay, that sounds exciting. How much are they paying you? Well, nothing. And I'm like, well, that doesn't sound like a great plan. So it was a, it was a, it was a little battle between daughter and mother and daughter won. So she's going, you know, in my mind, the summer you come home, you work, you get some credits out of the way at the local community college. Um, you don't spend two and a half weeks backpacking for fun, but you know what? It's, it's fine. I'm glad she's going. She was super excited. But um, hopefully in the mountains in Colorado, she'll be cooler than here. Oh, I just did that in dark yellow and I didn't mean to. All right. So I can see that you guys can barely see what I'm doing. I hope that, I hope that you can see a little bit better. There he is. He's very cute. He is super cute. All right. Now this little starburst, 
I'm gonna color, this is where I'm gonna kind of use a variety of my yellows. I'm gonna use light, Daffodil Delight here, like this. And then I'm just gonna take different yellows. I'm gonna take dark, Daffodil Delight, and do one, like that. And then I'm gonna do dark lemon lolly there. And then we'll do light lemon lolly. You guys still with me? I'm frozen again. I'm frozen. Hopefully you guys are there still. Um, this one, the bugs are horrible, Kathleen. Oh, yeah, I hope she, you know what? I didn't even, we've gotten to the point now where I don't even ask her like what she has. She's way more of an expert than I am. Um, during spring break, she led a trip um, down the Rio, the Rio Grande River in Big Bend, canoeing, like, like they slept on the bank of the river. So now I don't even ask, you know, that's way above anything that I know anything about. So I'm sure she is prepared. She's got netting stuff that she sleeps in. I don't know, but we'll see. She... <laughs> My other daughter and I were talking today about how there are conditions on that trail, like no bathrooms, that she and I would never even, we'd be like, out, deal breaker, nope, not doing it. All right, this um, right here is what we're going to use to hold our card closed, and this is just one of our stylish shape um, banners, and then we'll get two clouds, and hopefully... Oh, should I use some washi tape? I mean, some uh, post-it tape to hold these down? I'm going to. You know, when you spend all that time coloring and you cut it out, it better stay in place because you don't want to have to do that again. Um, let's see, what am I missing? Um, your daughter needs to be prepared for bug day. Okay, I saw that one. Um, bugs, She and you know what? The bugs do like her. Her and my husband, they, the bugs like them. They, they must be sweet. Um, let's see if we can get this one out. Hello, Mary. Good to see you. That's all right. If you're late, no worries. No worries. Yeah. So, you know, the thing about, the thing about, um, oh, good, Tammy. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Yeah. You know, I do have the phone like right in front of my face. Um, and it's not viewing tiny. Okay, good. Well, look, thank you for the feedback. I appreciate it. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. I don't know. Oh, the thing about the heat, you guys, that scares me is that it's only the middle of July. August, late August, early September is the hot time. The really, really hot time. So, like, <laughs> if this is what July is like, what's happening in August? I don't know. Okay. Back to our card, blueberry bushel, one of our new colors. This is five and a half by eight and a half. I've scored it at four and a fourth and at two and an eighth. And we're just gonna fold that one back. I've got a piece of basic white and we're gonna just stamp these little stars all around um, the edge. And you wanna just turn your stamp as you go so they're not all exactly, oops, I didn't do a very good job there. They're not all exactly the same. This also, makes your space where you have to write smaller, which I always like, because <laughs> I hate writing out cards. I never know what to say. All right, so now, do I have adhesive? I do. Okay, so we're gonna put this in here. Yes, you know, Rhonda, I haven't used blueberry bushel yet. This is the first time I used it since before, and I forgot how much I love it. I forgot, yeah, it's a really, really good blue. Now, this is our glorious gingham. Which do you guys like best? Do you like the bigger gingham or do you like the smaller gingham? I like the smaller gingham, so that's what I'm going to do. But again, use whatever you want. And this is a three by five and three eighths. Okay, I'm getting hot. Now that we're talking about the heat, let me turn it down. Okay, uh, my fan, my big, beautiful fan, you guys, it doesn't blow a lot of air. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I think it was more for looks than for air movement, unfortunately, because it's just kind of pretty, but not real blowy. Now this is um, a, like a mini card, right? So three by four and a fourth, and usually you would make this the front, but we're gonna turn it like this 
so that it's like that, okay? And so you want to put adhesive on the back and then you just wanna center it. And I always have a hard time, like I think it looks centered and then I close it in it. Yeah, okay, that looks pretty good. All right, so like that. And then we've got this uh, little piece of white. The measurements for all of this is on today's PDF, okay? Now let's get our little pieces and we're gonna turn them all over. And do I have Stampin' Dimensionals? Look at that. I do. So our house went up for sale yesterday, you guys, and we already have showings today. It was, I could, I could barely even look at the pictures. It made me sad. I mean, we love our new house, but we, you know, we loved our old house too. And it, I mean, our babies grew up there, you know, so mm, it's a little hard, but hopefully it sells quickly. We were able to turn around real pretty quickly and get all the things that needed to get done. There were so many things. The whole house needed to be painted. Um, what else? It needed to be cleaned. You know, you know how it goes. Hopefully, hopefully someone else will fall in love with it. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is take this little banner and I'm gonna staple it right here. I want it to be loose so that this can tuck under. So I'm gonna take this and just, I'm gonna kind of do two angled staples just for fun. Now, so weird because I'm looking at my video and I'm still coloring over there, but I can see your, your um, comments, like current comments. So is it the FB or is it my internet? I, I feel like since you guys aren't having problems, it must be my internet. Um, oh, a painting of our old house. Oh, Bonnie, that's such a good idea. You know, I know some painters. My mother and my daughter are both painters. That's a really good idea. Um, the house looked so good in the photographs. I was like, is that our house? <laughs> Those real estate photographers are amazing. They really know how to work that camera to make your house look just right. Um, that's a really good idea, Bonnie, I like that. All right, this ribbon is Knight of Navy, but it coordinates fine with your blueberry bushel, in my opinion. I think it looks just fine. And there you have it. So we've got the little print. Did I end up using the big print? I did, didn't I? <laughs> I said I'm gonna use a little print, and then I did, didn't. So there's big print, little print, and big print. Okay, let me grab a drink real quick. All right, card number one. There we go. Let's set that over here, and now let's get to card number two. Card number two, we are not going to use stamp and blends. We are going to use our water painter and some embossing powder. So let me get all of the things out of the way so that it looks nice and neat. Now, I don't think I mentioned this, but those of you who've been around, you know that during Facebook Friday, I offer these as free make and takes um, with an online order of $35 or more. So that's what this is about right here. If you um, shop between um, now and Monday at midnight at stampinup.com and you use the host code, um, next week I will cut you a packet and you will have these as make and takes. But remember we said make and takes wasn't the right name. How about mail and make? You'll have some mail and makes. <laughs> You'll have a kit arrive in your mail that you can make these cards at home. You will need the stamp set, obviously, um, and the dies. But other than that, I'll send you everything else ready to go. Okay, so this little chubby elephant is probably, well, I say she's my favorite, but I really like the lion too. So cute. We're going to use watercolor paper and the embossing buddy. And you guys, the embossing buddy comes in this little accessory kit. Um, what's it called? I always call it the wrong thing. The additions, embossing additions toolkit and i think we're pretty much going to use every bit of that additions toolkit today now we're going to stamp her in versamark so when i stamp her you're going to say there's nothing there because it looks like there's nothing there that's clear ink a clear sticky ink and then i'm going to use white embossing powder and 
pretty good. It, this additions kit comes with a, you know, a, um, what do you call this? Hello, paintbrush that you can paint any of the little granules that stick to where you don't want them to stick um, because they will stay stuck and then, you know, your image will have them on there and it won't, you won't like it. So, oh, did I just run my finger through that? Let's try that again. Um, I hope I didn't mess that up. We're gonna emboss this and the embossing on the image kind of creates a little barrier for your water. Um, it keeps the water inside your image. It also, hopefully you guys can hear me, it also resists the color. So wherever the stamp lines are, it's gonna stay white. So that's why it's called emboss resist, because it resists the color. At least I think that's why. You'll know when your powder has made its magical turn when it is shiny. I mean, you might not be able to see it on the video, but um, in real life, you can see it. Okay, so I didn't use this, like I said I was going to, but this little, these little reverse tweezers that come in this um, is to hold it so you don't burn your fingers. Did I get that? Okay. Okay, now let's use our water painters for our little elephant. I'm gonna use gray granite. I like gray granite a lot um, as a gray, it's, I feel like it has more brown undertones and looks almost brownish, if you will. And uh, so for the elephant, I thought it would be good. So I'm just gonna give her a little bit of a water bath, just kind of to prepare my, my uh, paper. And then I have squeezed my ink there so that I have a little palette right there, whoops, little palette there of, of, of ink. All right, so now you just add your color like this and it's all gonna run together. You wanna make sure you have enough water because if you don't, then your colors won't it will not spread and give you that watercolor look. But see how those, and those lines right there are resisting the color? They're gonna stay white as we go. And the water, or the um, embossed lines also have created that barrier. So your, your water stops spreading right there at the edge of your image. unless you're like me and you're messy and you run your brush outside the lines, which happens for me a lot. <laughs> Let's be honest. All right, now, if you think it's a little bit too dark, you can do like that and I'll lighten it up a little bit. And then you can just, if you want, you can take a little bit of dark, add some shadow there, right there. That back ear would be a little bit darker. And then we've got this. Wherever something is overlapping something else, the something else is going to be darker. All right. Now, let me add a little more water so it'll all blend together. And let me get a little bit right here for her tail. And then we're gonna let her sit and dry. Isn't she the cutest? There she is, very cute. Okay, so that is gray granite. And then you can just boop like that. All right, now, let's move the water all the way. Man, I have like so much more room. I'm loving it. Now, I told you guys we were gonna use that little star die. Um, if I haven't lost my dies, which happens. And by the way, you guys were asking about the lemon die. Yeah, I never found it when I moved. Did I leave them over here? Yes, I did. Um, you guys, were watching me make a project one time and I dropped the lemon dye on the floor, could not find it during my live, could not find it after my live and never found it after I, while I was moving. And even the lady that cleaned my house, she found it, some things, but it wasn't, she didn't find that. So I guess it went like maybe under the cabinets or something, which is super sad. Now it's gone, and now my dyes are incomplete. 
All right, so I have taken a deckled edge rectangle and I've cut out, um, bub I almost called it bubble gum, bubble bath cardstock and shimmer. This is our, what's it called, subtle shimmer? Let me look at my list, because I looked it up. Soft shimmer specialty paper, okay? And we're gonna layer that on top of that. So we're gonna cut these stars out. We're gonna run this through a few times to cut these stars out. And we're gonna save the stars and use them like embellishments, all right? So my trick usually with these dies is just to drop it and they go everywhere. <laughs> I'm, the next time I'm gonna show you that we have a tool that will take care of that for you. All right, so just scrape them off into a little pile. And then you just wanna, I think it takes four, four passes through the machine to get all those little stars. You know, Lisa, I don't know. I don't think they would send me one die. I don't, I don't think so. They, they might. I mean, I probably have to buy a replacement set. I don't think they would, you know, that would be nice though. All right, so this is the tool. This is the brush attachment um, that goes on your take your pick tool and see it'll get all of those, those stars out for you as well. So if you drop it on your desk like I do and they don't come out, then grab your dye brush because usually one or two stubborn ones don't come out. And you have to drop it on something hard. <laughs> this is the unofficial uh, tool of, or unofficial um, way to get your your die, your images, your what am I trying to say? Your shapes out of your die is to just drop it. All right. You have a die that has no home. Apparently, I can give it to you, and you'll have the correct amount of dies. Is it the lemon, Cliffy? Surely it's not the lemon, is it? That's funny. I have a little basket of dyes too um, that I'm like, I don't know where these go. <laughs> I know. I have that too. All right. So now we're going to attach these two things together. While we're here, let's get our little elephant and the die and cut it out. It's dry enough. It's not totally dry, but it's dry enough to go through here. Um, Debbie, no, they are in the same school. Um, same, they're both going to be in high school this year, the two younger ones. So, no, that was, that was a condition of us building a house. It ha I, I was absolutely not going to do that to them. Um, I just knew that there was no way they would, they would run away. <laughs> they would run away from home if I made them switch schools at this age. So... Luckily, we just moved four miles. It wasn't really that far. Um, but we have a whole lot more space now, which is really nice. Okay, so now, do I have glue? I have glue. The guy next door, you know, I'm always looking out the window. The guy next door um, has a um, landscape company that is at his house every day. I'm not kidding, every day. I'm like, man, that must be nice. I don't know what they're doing. I can't tell. They're doing some stuff in the backyard, but I mean, they're not like, really building anything. They're like, I don't know. They were doing something with the beds in the front. I, but since we've been here, they come every day for like an hour. I'm like, and no wonder his yard is like gorgeous. Like that. So that's the secret. <laughs> I have a landscape company come every day. Yeah, we don't have a landscape company. We are our own landscape company, so our yard will not look like that. <laughs> I can guarantee you. Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to stamp this straight. Let's see, little baby, big love, Knight of Navy, scalloped rectangle. It's better, you guys, to do that, to stamp first and then cut, but for the sake of the video, you know, I try to do some of the things ahead of time. Okay. So now we'll take our little baby. Let's put this on first at the bottom of our little starscape. And then we'll put our little baby. Oh, there's something I was going to tell you that I, I don't like that her um, eye is white. So I'm taking my black stamp and write marker and just boop, giving her a little, a little dot for her eye. That was bugging me. I didn't like it, so I, I had to change it. And then we're going to add just a little tiny 
dot of glue, grab your take your pick tool with a putty end and grab one of those stars and set it down right there. Now, how cute is she? Now she's really cute. All right, so right there. Okay, so now we've got a Knight of Navy card base. I'm gonna just put a piece of basic white on the inside. I think I've told you guys this before when I was a new stamper and I used dark card bases and I started sending my cards, I thought, oh my gosh, I have to have a white pen to write in these dark card bases. It, it took me a while, hello, took me a while to figure out that you just put a piece of white inside your dark card bases and then no problem. I'm slow sometimes for the simple answers. Um, this is the Something Eclectic Designer Series paper. It is my favorite in the catalog. Yesterday, of course, when I was making the video, I was like, uh, 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 cannot remember the name of this paper. I love it, it's so good. Um, and then I'm just taking a strip of Calypso Coral right through there. Um, does the neighbor not have dogs? They, he does, he's got two adorable dogs. Um, they're little though. And his backyard is like an acre, so it's big. He has a like a miniature Australian Shepherd that is with blue eyes that is so, so, so cute. And then like a little, I don't know, maybe like a poodle or something. She's like a little white, you know, like a little white froofy dog. And they love to bark at my dogs and my dogs love to bark at them. And we all hate it. <laughs> we all are standing on our back porch yelling at our dogs. But they're like, yes those dogs have lived there for a while with you know no neighbors this was a empty lot for a long time so now they're like yes entertainment all right now i'm gonna take um those little stars remember save your little stars it's like free embellishments and then just set them i'm going to do three in each of these corners and they come in different sizes um the small ones are really small. I don't think I could. I mean, you could use them in a shaker card, but I think to glue them would be pretty difficult. All right. And that one. And then also, let's do, you know, like boop, boop, boop. Let's do a couple on the inside too, like that. And like that. I sure am loving this bubble bath color. I think I've used it every week since since we got since we got these new colors. I love it. Okay, there you go. You guys, isn't she so cute? I love her. This one I did less ink. This one I did more ink. This one I didn't blend very well, but still cute. Still the watercolor look, right? Okay, so there we go. Card number two. Um, I don't remember who it was who sent me the link for this um, mat here on my desk. Thank you very much. I cannot remember who it was. I, you guys, I'm terrible at remembering those things. But I like it, except that, like, this stuff is hard to sweep off now. There we go. But, man, it is awesome. It, everything stays in place, and it's protecting my surface which is great okay now we're gonna i'm gonna have stars everywhere for a while okay one more project let me see um yes you know lisa that's my youngest daughter's dream dog too she wants one so now i said look you have an australian shepherd it lives next door you can just pretend it's yours i mean come on three schnauzers what else do you need Oh, okay, hold on. I just dropped something on the floor. Hold, please. Okay, something important from this. These um, are the scalloped gift card boxes that were in the new catalog. And remember, they weren't available. They were one of the things, I think there were like two things that weren't available when the catalog went live. And this is one of them. And I have to show you how cute they are. I also have to get a drink of Diet Coke. Okay. Um, let me just show you. I was surprised. I, I guess in my mind, I didn't read gift card. I just read scalloped box. And so when I opened it and saw that it comes with this thing right here, 
to put your gift card in, I was like, oh my gosh, that's brilliant. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you, it comes like this. Um, I, how many are in a box, 10? 10, 10, 10 in a package. And um, how much are they? 750, so they're what, 75 cents each. And so you get one of these and one of these and I'll show you how to put together. Let me grab this gift card out of here. Oh, now let me show you what else is inside. I have been to Home Goods, TJ Maxx Home Goods, about 800 times in the last month. <laughs> and, um, you know, for the house. And I found these and I had to buy them because I've never seen them. Have you guys seen these before? Let me show you the package. Anything lemon is coming home with me, for sure. And these are the little wafers. And I like the size. Um, I didn't know what I was going to do with them, but then I realized they fit beautifully inside this box. So I found them on Amazon, and I linked them today. So if you're interested in getting some of them, I have a link there for you. Did you guys shop Prime Days? Boy, for a new homeowner, Prime Days was awesome. Yeah, we... Uh, we took advantage. We usually don't, but we took advantage. All right, let me show you how this box goes together. This is the easy button. You guys, I love to make 3D projects from scratch. You know me, that's like my favorite thing. However, sometimes you need the easy button, and this is definitely the easy button. So no glue required. Fold in all your score lines, and then you fold in these tabs right here fold over the side, fold over the side, and fold over the side, and then you are done. I mean, hello. And if you didn't wanna use the gift card holder, you can just make it a treat box. Now, the gift card holder part has these little slits in it. Like this, you put your gift card in there, you know, new mom, get her gift card to wherever, Target. And then you put this and you just adhere it right to the side right there. And then there it is. Hello, that's a brilliant design, right? I love it. All right, so to decorate the box, we are gonna use, I have Misty Moonlight and the Let's Go Fishing Designer Series paper, the little blue kind of denim or wood grain or whatever it is and then let's put this this is from and again i can't remember the name let me look do, 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 do. ain't botanicals designer series paper a little strip of that can go right across there all right now for our little cow she's very cute she's taking a nap we're gonna stamp her in Memento. Yeah, Peggy, I agree, this box is really cool. Memento Black. And we're gonna use my, probably my most, well, Bubble Bath and Pecan Pie. I think it's a tie. I love both of them. And we're gonna color her with light Pecan Pie first. And then we'll go back with dark and add some shadows. So my next project in this studio is that back wall over my right shoulder. I want to put a card display, some kind of display. You know, in my old studio, I had a little display under the counter where I could put my cards. Um, and so now I have much more space. So I wanna come up with something cute to kind of display cards back there. So that's kind of what I've been thinking about, trying to come up with something clever. All right, so I'm taking the dark and I'm adding shadow. It looks kind of weird until you take your light and you blend it all down. Kind of blend it in, blend, blend, blend. And then we're gonna come up here and we're gonna color the middle part of her face. You know, my babies never slept very well. So this, this image for a baby card kind of makes me laugh. They would only sleep 
if we were holding them or if the stars were aligned just right. <laughs> they were terrible sleepers. Oh, oh, I remember. So, you know, if all three of them were terrible sleepers, you know that means it was me. I was a terrible sleep trainer or whatever. I was not a good, you know, put them down, let them cry. Uh, you know, that was, I wasn't good at that. Whatever, they're fine now. They sleep till noon, one o'clock, no problem. But man, when they were babies, I thought that would never happen. All right, here is bubble bath again. Putting some pink on our little baby. And then we'll add some dark, I'm sorry. Yes, no, dark um, smoky slate. You can use our black Stampin' Blend, but it is dark. I've told you guys that before. It is so dark that you lose some of the image, some of the lines of your stamped image. So I usually tend to go with that dark um, smoke slate. Okay. Thanks for sharing. I forgot. Did I have a prize the last time? What was it? Where is it? <laughs> I've moved. I don't remember. What was the prize for sharing? I don't remember. I'm going to have to go back and watch. I totally forgot about a prize. If you guys share the video, I will um, pick a winner next week for a prize. And it'll be a good prize, probably a bundle. Jennifer, what did you say? Let me see. I didn't even realize the card holder was like that. Oh, the box? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, the box is so cool. I know, I just read give, scalloped gift box. I didn't see the whole gift card part of the title. <laughs> okay, so this is one of our um, nest, no, what is this? Th you know what? I gave you the wrong name of this, this die. This die is not from the nested essentials dies, is it? I'm going to have to fix that. I can't remember where it's from. Of course, I can't remember. But it's a good shape. Um, Misty Moonlight ink. A little dimensional for our baby. And a little dimensional for our Radiating Stitches heart. And that is another online exclusive die set. Okay, so now I'm going to show you something that I discovered. Um, so I'm gonna put this on the top of the box and then to keep the box closed, I'm gonna use some of this silver threaded twine, which I really like because it has a silver thread running through it. <laughs> I mean, it's just a little something extra, it's cute. And so we'll, we'll keep that closed. You could also make a belly band here to keep it closed. You could use, I don't know, magnet, a little tiny button magnet or Velcro or ribbon. Um, do I have scissors? Now, this stuff is pretty thick, so I found that if I put just one dimensional on either side, that then my, um, my tag, if you will, was like rounded. It was too, you know, there was like a bump in the middle. So I'm gonna stack two dimensionals. Pedal something dies. My, my thing stopped. Um, is it, I was thinking it was, um, something with, with, uh, was it the love you more dies? I don't know. Who can look it up? Who can look it up? This die right here. I, I can't remember. Oh, man, I'm like, how many times have I said I can't remember? My brain like literally forgot everything. It's funny what a month will do. Sentimental Park. There you go, Carmen. Sentimental Park. Thank you very much. Very good. I knew somebody would come up with it. All right, and then we're just gonna add some little pink sequins, these little cute pink sequins, and done. And there you go. Now, of course, if you need a gift card for a birthday or whatever, just change, you know, the image, change the sentiment. But the gift card box is an awesome package of things to have in your arsenal, you know, like when you need to give a gift card and you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't make anything for it and I've got to leave in five minutes. You can make something real quick with that box. Okay, so I have two bonus cards for you 
And I am still coloring the baby cow over on my Facebook Live. So let's see if I close it and pull it up. It's just bizarre. Um, okay, there, now I'm caught up. Um, here is yesterday's card. Funny story about this card. Um, I saw a really cute card on Instagram. I think it was Ashley Van Camp who made it. I can't quite remember, but she had done this. Um, there, I said it again. I can't remember. <laughs> this Facebook, look, Facebook Live should be called the I Can't Remember Facebook Live. Um, anyway, she used this as uh, one of those... Um, you know, notebook paper edge dies. And I love the way it looked. Then I did a watercolor piece um, that I was gonna put these guys on in the middle. And then I put them all on and then I looked over and there was the watercolor piece and I totally forgot it. So I was like, well, oh well, so much for the watercolor piece. It looks cute like that anyway. So anyway, that's that card. And then on Monday, I have another one. This is the little blanket from the little lemonade set. And these are, I believe, the Around the Bend dies. Mm, that may not be right. Um, but again, with that cute paper. And I thought that Highland Heather and Barry Burst go together pretty well. So two bonus projects for you to look at on my blog. Um, but these three projects are what you will get in your free Make and Take kit. Free with an online order of $35 or more by Monday at midnight. Please use this host code. Please and thank you. And that's it. We survived. We did. Um, the watercolor piece, Shannon, was real light, balmy blue. It was a real light blue. Um, I actually used it. I ended up cutting it in half, and you'll see it next week on my trucking along card. <laughs> I don't waste anything around here. Um... I have movers brain for today. That Okay, we'll call it that. I hope that's what it is. Oh, I mean, woo. I can't remember a thing. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to be back next Friday. Um, hopefully with trucking along. Hopefully trucking along will be in stock. Um, I have some, I have, I have some backup projects if we can't do trucking along but i'm not going to tell you what they are yet because i can't remember the name of them <laughs> um but so then next week it'll be two o'clock and then the following week i know i'm going to be out of town again so you'll miss me again i'm sorry but then hopefully i'll be in town for a long time until the end of august <laughs> when i go to las vegas for stamping up the event it's too much going on it's too much you guys Thanks for joining me today. You guys, it was so good to talk to you. Um, and I will see you next week. Have a great weekend, you guys. Bye.